please OBS work. <sighs> anyway, welcome to the video. I'm gonna be playing some Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Okay, there we go. Yep. That's good enough. Always nice to see a friendly face. So if you see any about, send them my way. <laughs> Have you got a contract for me? Another day, another series of tasks that require a keen eye and a talent for violence. Interested? One of our suppliers asked us the sooner you come back, the better the reward. I'm kidding. The reward will be the same. I'm kidding. I have to go. See you soon. Goodbye for now. Goodbye for now. I'm not even trying to sound like a woman. Hey, Eivor. Ah, hey, my boy. Oh, my wolfie. Ah. Uh... There's that show. I mean, this game did just get an update, so. I mean, for how old it is, and they're about to launch their next Assassin's Creed. I'm, I was really surprised. I was like, what? I'm 
another game. What the? I was like, why was it an update? Game gold. And this is not like a like a 500 gig. I mean, 500 megabyte, 200 megabyte, 100 me like 50 megabyte. It was 6.7. Uh, no, 6.9 gigs. <laughs> Big bro. Like what? What? I mean, thank you for the update, but what? I mean, the only, like, the only thing I can think of is that they fix bugs. I think I like this game a lot more than the other Assassin's Creed. The reason why I played it a lot more is because it's a different type of Assassin's Creed, you know? I think I did. Oh, actually, I'll be right back. Give me a second, guys. Well, guys, girls.
So he just had a snowstorm. And um, so not only is 10 degrees, but um, it's also like uh, um, there's snow, so that's also cold. And I mean, you have two PCs on right now, literally. My second PC is just, uh, it's folding at home right now, so. I'm not gonna get into what folding at home is. Just look it up. It's literally called folding at home, and so, and it's still cold. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I usually like it this cold, but um, because it's colder on the outside, and yeah. Raise Steve. Hold on, good. I should not be seen in this area. Show me. You have my sincere thanks, friend. actually beautiful, you know? Oh, then bless you, Raven Banner. Five Opal. Catch five Opal.
Spread your wings, Sunan. I mean, this game has the same basics as a normal Assassin's Creed, but it is different. Go battle! <laughs> Let's go, Arcane. Good to see you. I have completed the contract. Excellent work, my friend. You impress me more and more every day. Here Ooh. is what you have earned. What do you have today? Should liven up the view from my shop. Take care of yourself out there. Drink and plenty of fluids. I must take my leave. So long. So long. Oh. Farewell. Loki's statue and dragon were the coolest ones, so that's why I got them. Oh, 
Oh, Kiki. This is like something more at the dock. Oh, oh yeah. That looks cool right there. Sorry. And no, no. How does this look? Oh yeah, that looks cool. I like that. That is sick. I guess it's kind of near the docks. So, uh, the G can go right here. There, yep. Boom. Boom. I say to the bone. Eivor, if you have a moment to spare. child or whatever. That sounds wrong, but... I wish it auto saved, but I guess not. Landry, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped in this room and this settlement. And this life? I cannot help you with your life just now, but I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride to Grand Bridge or somewhere nearby for a change of pace. That sounds lovely and too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? I want Damn. to see the Alliance map. So Chael Bet has traveled to Sherapshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Sheolbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Sheolbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I will make my way to Shropshire. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the F and Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I will certainly be needed. 
Okay, let's do the... Go there. <laughs> Best race my hood here. You can't hide from me! It might be that other pond. Large pond, huh? He is at Imba in the western part of Oh, this is my last part of chipping away, okay. in the business of helping you. Dear man, would you live under Edwin's boots? For that, it's for the good of your shire. 
You've lost your senses. What's the noise about? She's trying to rob me. I warn you, soldiers are coming to escort me any minute. This merchant is taking supplies to the castle. Oil for boiling, arrows, shields, rations. I offered to buy them, but he refuses. I don't sell on a future promise of profit. Edwin's a valuable customer. Then I'll make you a new offer. Here's more than enough coin, friend. Boy, Jesus, you're a better customer than your needling partner. <laughs> I'm not gonna fight a merchant, okay? He said soldiers are coming. We can use these oil jars to surprise them. Fewer reinforcements for Edwin. I see visions of burning men, the screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff and watch for the soldiers, would you? You'll hear me howl as the men approach. I must be careful now. Oh. What was that? I just fucked this. God damn it. Rainbow Sky Bridges, too. <laughs> Draw the line when they start cleaving healthy horses and dogs in two. There's no call for that. Who wants half a dog by his side for all time? Very advanced. They won't brook the old way, Red, and like it. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> Meet your fate! <laughs> Shut you, bitch! Together, lad! 
Where's this oil merchant? Said he'd be here all day. Watch each other's backs! Get behind if you can! You damn flames! Is enough. Ambushing her soldiers should be my final strike before the battle begins. <laughs> That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulke, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation, when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the god? Or could he be a god himself? I... I don't know. I want to deny it. But I've... I've, I've seen things in my life. Visions. Prophecies. It's difficult to explain. Heed your visions. Always. You may have been touched by true knowledge. Sigurd is only a man. The son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he is no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god. In ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Fulke. It's time I regroup with Gidrich. To see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here to pray for the souls of the dead before I join you. Let's go! Aid me. Be my eyes. Now I have four skill points. Let's go. Yes, sir. Heavy resistance, yes. Still damage, yes. Let's go to quests. Let's see what we have.
this one. Diedrich. Oh. Ringing bell. Wait, I know where it's at. Over there. If I am a horse. Have a look, Sunan. <laughs> look, lads! There's Eivor! Uh, We're with you, Eivor! See that our flitches have arrows enough us. for everyone. Not Twenty to Giedrich. a man! Giedrich! None will... Giedrich. Eivor! Have you dealt each with a few bruising blows? I have. She'll feel the pain soon enough. Excellent. My men are itching to attack the fortress, but we'd be fools to force it now. Why is that? On account of Edwin's got too many traps and defenses. Her springles cut us to bloody stumps before they poured boiling oil upon us like a summer tempest. Keep the men at the ready. I'll slip in alone and see what I can do about these defenses. By my joints and ankles, you're a tough one. Have your men ready, because we will be taking this fort today. Castle keep looks impregnable. That will be Edwin's last death.
just about this lamp, my friend. Another way. God won't let us lose. to be done, but this should be enough to launch the assault. Now it's down to Gidrid to lead his men. Oh, 
Actually, I can. I say we wait. There's too much riding on this. I am Sigurd Jarl, Lord of East Mercia, and I say we fight. Now! You're a good man, Sigurd, and I'm thankful for all you've done. But without Eivor, I make no mo- Is it done? It is. And have you laid your poles of hazel and composed your poems for this coming victory? I am here to speak with Giedrich. Go on, then. Your master awaits. Still dreaming of your precious stone? It is not dreams that led me here, Eivor. I've had visions. Prophecies from the gods. Visions? I'll sacrifice to tear this day. The Lord of Justice, the harbinger of flawless victory. Sigurd, what prophecies? Are we ready to assault the castle, Eivor? The sign's importance read well. We're ready. Give the command. Good. And let's be quick about it. My scouts tell me a force of King Alfred's men is on the march. Let's end this before that flap-mouthed pudding has a chance to hit back. Yeah, he looks like a man that wants to kill. Just had a pray real quick, you know? But that's another thing. Every... Okay, I don't care what religion you are in. 98% of religions have you pray. Uh, you know? Oh, Q is the shit. Okay. Let's go to Valhalla! <laughs> down the drawbridge! <laughs> 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 Watch my lead. God curse you. Oh! 
Take the castle! Spare no one! to the portcullis.
the lofty lady. Do what you must, Thane of Dungheaps. As one loyal to her shire and her people, I know which of us God favors. Eivor bested you. It's for Eivor to decide your fate. Death. Oh, I can't kill her. No, if she's exiled, she's gonna be fucking. She might be a revolutionary. You fought with honor and purpose. For that, I put you in Gitrich's care. He will see you're treated well. Oh, Will, so long as you recant your friendship with that pot of warm piss, King Alfred. Agreed. Take her away. I fulfilled my promise to you. I trust you will do the same. An oath between our people. Aye, you've done us well, Eivor. I thank you. And if ever you need the like, I'll do what I can. I will. Count on it. I'd be quick about plundering. King Alfred will be on his way, and he won't be alone. <laughs> oh, yeah, now it's open. Oh, oh uh, move, move. <laughs> I knew there was going to be a way to get in here. It was after the war. Of course it was. of the ancient ones, the Isu, the gods of the Gat of Gods. I... I've seen this somewhere. I know these words. I... One who stands at a threshold should take great care to look around, for who knows what foes lie in wait in the halls beyond. I have passed through this doorway once before. But Sigurd, in a dream, not once, a thousand times. A thousand. He's done, I've done it once, he's done it a thousand times? Yeah, she may be a god. What does it say, Sigurd? Does it speak to you? Yes. But the words are... fucked. Shadowed. And yet I... I feel their meaning. And the ash tree... I see the grey tree of life, her boughs reaching... skyward. Opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basin. All you foretold was true. 
Ava. I am more than I appear to be. So much more. This is wicked magic, Sigurd. Dark Seder. Do not listen. No. This is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred's come. King Alfred of Wessex. Marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers. Have we time to escape? The men are spent. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak. And the King of Wessex will listen. Parley, yep. Only way. Oh, 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 oh. holy shit. Alfred, your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. <laughs> Return to your singing subjects then, and leave the affairs of Mercia to the Danes. Not all your pagan war songs are safely out of hearing. Offer an exchange, Lord. You can deserve, deserve, deserve. Please, no, no secrets here. Let's end this here, my lord. Let's exchange men. My best warrior for yours to prove peace. After which you leave Mercia, and we fall back north of River Ouse. These terms are fair. Wolfrich, my war thane. You will go with Giedrich, brother. Name your man. Sigurd Jarl, I offer myself. Thank you, Basin. King Alfred, wait. Mm. Paladin Fulke. You with this company? I was, my lord. To recover from Edwin what was mine by right. Sigurd is the only man you need. He's worth more than twenty other men. He is the son of a king. Traitorous snake! And his heresies are profound, my lord. He claims to be a living god. I'll cut you, troll woman! Hush! I'll gift myself to you, King Alfred. Because it is not my fate to die by your hand. Brother. Have faith. The Lord God watches over you all. This man is dangerous, my lord. Let me hold him. Do what you must, but treat him with care. I fought the guards, Basim. What was that? I will shadow them. They shall not get away. Every single one of you. Bro, how is the wife gonna handle this, bro? Holy shit. Well, uh, wife, whatever. Yeah. Oh. That'd be useful. I think, no, I don't know. Where are my kids? Oh.
I literally have a super long Well, not only I have a video running, I also have the folder. Go save. There's literally no. Wow. Well, I'm here. Avor. Oh, sorry. Hello. Avor, if you've a moment to spare. Shut up. Our leader's in danger, okay. Greetings. Ranvi, our work is done in Oxenifachaya, but the cost has been high. I feared as much when this letter arrived, from one called Fulke, addressed to you. From Fulke? Gods, that witch. It is there on the table. Which we aspire a great full king is with the order of the ancients, the same order shot we followed. The order that Basim and Haitham have pledged to destroy. Eivor, what has happened? Sigurd has been taken hostage, captured by King Alfred, and given to a woman named Fulke. A very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Gidrich. Gidrich is an honest man, and will come when I call. Until that time, Basim will locate Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. Oh, fuck. I knew she was bad. God damn, why she's she's in the order of the fucking ancient God. Fuck. <gasps> oh, 
Oh my god. What? She was in the top five. Well, it was a uh, head. I thought maybe she's gonna be like one of these, you know? These people's minions. But she's like right under this. That is terrible. Randry, take a break. Let us make for Grandbridgeshire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this, so why not stretch your legs and fill your lungs? I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Follow me. We won't take the long ship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the longhouse. We will need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Grandibridgeshire. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? I don't know. Uh, are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. Uh, I wanna... That's gonna be a long fucking walk. It really is lovely here. I have not been this far east of the settlement. Isn't that awful? 
You think safety awful? To live one's life in so small a pond. Hear stories from you and scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? This water smells off. You get used to it. I do not wish to. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here. You know, just taking it a shit, just get across water, right? Careful, Ranvi. Have I been at the table so long that you think I wear like a real sword? That was thrilling. Ranvi the Rapture. I should clear a seat on my longship for you. No! an hour and 30 bro what <laughs> <laughs> Eivor, there what is that this is where the summer army retreated when grantobridge was lost they seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to see it in person brings it to stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this sight. I knew it was good to bring your own to your adventurous sight, you know? I, I'm gonna have to once I do this uh, mission I'm gonna have to go and Twenty yet yeah, to work anyway, so now I'll do probably another recording when I get home. Cause I'm uploading a video every Friday. That's 
go. And here we are. Welcome to Grantabritch. We should make our way to the longhouse. Oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London. And a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here, too. Well, 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 it's the very boy I see. It's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah, good memory. Good to see you again. This is Randvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Randvi. Evo seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Has something happened? Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox and the Vodre. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits having kept nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. So what will we you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Take from them what you like. Good. Consider the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. Oh. Damn! She uh, <laughs> Come on, I need the challenger! Ooh. Arrow. Those. The bandits are camped on a river, he said, east of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Randvi. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from the table for a day, and already you are lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magni and clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we find them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I would say you are teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf kissed Iron Fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. Hey, yo. Kinda getting a little lusty, man. You're a cigarette, man. You're a cigarette woman. There. The bandit camp. All right. Stay close. And do as I do. Brood and look sternly at the horizon? By all means.
I thought you wanted to do this in secret. You seemed hot for a battle, so here we go. Stay away from me! Suffer! <laughs> There, that's done. Now to deliver Magni his horse. Thor mm. lends me strength. That was a thrill, Eivor. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink. To celebrate our victory. At home. Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse. And if your thirst remains, we'll look around. Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse is outside, waiting for you. Thank the gods she is safe. And thank you, Eivor. And your friend Randvi, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Look at this! Oh, someone is thirsty! Are you determined to get drunk? I... What are you playing at? A drinking contest. You versus me. Wolfkist versus Table Maiden. Randvi, we can do better than Table Maiden. Mead Queen, then. All right. Let us drink. Beautiful. Oh, boy. Radvi's done you better. Eivor is a beast, but you have my fealty, Randvi. drown. Ha! I am the Mead Queen, slayer of wolves and barrels. I told you I would drink you under the table. 
So, are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come, we'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. Ah, oh, Randvi. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look, and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Speaking already? Huh? Well, I do hope to see you again. Randvi, return any time. I might have to, Magni. Thank you for everything. No, no, thank you. Safe travels. I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Randvi, slayer of bandits and breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Sunivar described this tower for me. Well, a no. desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest. I was wondering something. You and Soma. Was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close, very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean... Did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that... Disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskuna as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. A rather appealing match. <laughs> I'm going to pretend your last words were taken by the wind, Randvi. If you must. must be the tower. Take the bridge. <laughs> Just as beautiful as Sunuva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built? Hundreds of winters ago. Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on. Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. You climb well for one who folds maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are calloused from hard work. Well, well. Look at this. Go, my eyes. Mm. A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. Uh, you have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but 
Now I've watched you scale a tower in furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air, before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have yeah. made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger, free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together over the open seas, raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream and... and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. We can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Oh, no, I am... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is... I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. That is... comforting to hear. I have long felt the same way. But I banished the thought that this would ever happen. Many times I wished to tell you. Wished to say what was in my heart and what I desired. But duty kept me from it. Say all you like. Today has meant so much. We rode, we fought, we drank, we laughed. You showed me your world. Not in words, but deeds. Deeds are more direct than words. Okay. Okay. I was about to be like, hey, don't pan away. I'm, I'm going to bring you off screen. Andre? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement. I'm gonna be teleporting to bay, well, settlement. Not bay. Like, I've been playing a lot of different games lately, so mainly satisfactory, which I will be doing more videos on. Um, since you guys seem to like it. And
Dr. Wolfka, so glad to see you. If you have a moment to spare... Good to see you, darling. Hey. Ranvi, you left so suddenly. There is work to be done. There always is. I see. But do not think for a moment that I have forgotten you and our wonderful day. Uh, nor would I wish you to. Good. Then we see eye to eye. And heart to heart. Yes, indeed. Until our next moment alone, we should return to our great work. England will not pacify itself on our behalf. No, indeed. Back to work, then. Should we take this to your chamber? Hmm. No need. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't mean to read. I should have read. I just picked something. Hold up. Br Brick. I want to see the Alliance map. So I gotta do this next. I have received a unique summons. Nottinghamshire in the north, from your old friend, Vili. Vili? A name I've not heard in ten winters or more. How is he? Well, it seems. Vili asks that you join him in feast and celebration, in honor of his father, Heminger Jarl. A welcome invitation. It will be good to see him again. It is worth recalling that his father, Heminger Jarl, would be a formidable ally. Will you go? No. I have changed my mind. I should go. Save. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And like always, cheat you. Ow! <laughs> Oh god. That was an experience.